Hello folks, today is all about writing a great injustice from earlier in the week. You may recall earlier this week, this person here went out on a Wednesday oh, and did not provide me with any treats. I appreciate it is now Friday. What? Yes, but you didn't get me any treats. So, we've come out on Friday. It's nothing to do with the fact we've just been to her uni to hand in all her work and she's now feeling giddy. Uh, but we're now in town, we're going to get some Wednesday treats, we've got a few of bits and pieces we need to pick up, I've got a few Christmas trees I need to pick up. We could buy Christmas trees, but we're just, we're coming into town on an adventure, this is probably the last time we're going to come into town before Christmas, because it's getting busier and busier all the time. And I'm trying to get Anna to sit in the snow piles at the, uh, each end of the car park, but she won't do it. But they're not even snow. <laughs> so boring. If you're in the UK, you will appreciate the time travel feat we've just gone through to have breakfast in Wimpy, which I'm fairly sure doesn't exist anymore. But there it was. Yeah, like 20 years ago. I'm not that old. How long ago did you work there then? 15 like years 17. ago? So 15 years ago. Yes. So I wasn't far off with 20 years ago. 20 years but um, yeah, I thought they'd stopped when I was a kid, but apparently not. I had, a I had, a I had like my fifth birthday party there, <laughs> so that was 30 years ago. That's just so weird. <laughs> but uh, it was very pleasant, getting fast food on a plate, always good. Now we're just adventuring, we've got a couple of things we need to purchase. We still need a Christmas present for my dad, if anyone's got any suggestions. Really need them, we don't know what to get him, plus we need wrapping paper, and usually they Somewhere around Peterborough there'll be a pop-up Christmas shop, so we're now looking for one so we can buy some cheap wrapping paper. Christmas tree video recorded. We had so many Christmas trees here, including a very sad Christmas tree graveyard or hospital or something. The Christmas market we saw the other week looks like it's now open-ish. It's weird, I've never actually seen it fully open. Christmas is next week and the market still isn't fully open yet. But we've now, we're heading down to the other end of town. We're still on the hunt for somewhere to wear cheap wrapping paper. Normally, this is the street where we might be able to find it. But I'm not seeing people wandering around with big Christmas themed bin bags full of wrapping paper. Well, we did see a lady in Wimpy who had some. So, fingers crossed, we'll find some. Uh, Christmas land. Mission accomplished. Rolls of Christmas wrapping paper. Five pound a roll, including... No, it Sorry, pound a roll. Five pound... Five, yeah, five pound a roll. That would be a disaster. A pound a roll. What did you get coming? Um, I selected my own that Anna's going to wrap my presents in, which is Avengers Christmas wrapping paper, which and is what awesome. Else did you make um, what else did I make you buy? You made me buy tax. Oh yeah, gift. So you know whose presents are whose. Obviously, I'll know who's my who's my presents are because they'll be the ones in the Avengers paper. Well, they're hollow. I got hollow tape. I got hollow stuff. Hollow stuff. A hollow. Happy now. She's obsessed. Um, on the top topic of other YouTubers. Um, because she's obviously talking about her Simply Nail Logical Lady again. Those of you who've been around for a while might remember back in, back in the summer I think it was, I got an accidental Twitch donation of £11,000 and had to refund it. And finally, after however many months, it's been picked up by one of these YouTubers who does the compilation videos of top Twitch fails or stuff like that. So if you head over to Trend Crave, um, it's a channel of 1.6 million subscribers. As of last night when we were sent the video, it's already had about 150,000 views, but my 11 grand refund is number one on his list of top five Twitch fails. So, I'm officially famous. That wasn't my fail. I was a good boy, I gave it back. But the, the poor man who accidentally donated 11,011 pounds rather than 11 pound 11p. Yeah, he's still in the streams every now and again. But yeah, go check that out. I'll put a link to it down in the description so you can go and check that out because um, he says nice things about me and I like things where people say nice things about me. We're in boots trying to find a present for my dad. Anna has deserted me. I don't like being lost in this shop. It smells funny. Where is she? Don't leave me on my own, I was afraid. Mm. We're home! Slight problem, we did go into Boots to get my dad a Christmas present, we still haven't got him one, but somehow we managed to leave Boots with one of these. What is this? What is this our further transition towards being a, a beauty channel? <laughs> um, are you going to unbox this? You get one of these every year, don't you? I have to. What is it though? Soap and Glories 
Is it just soap? Spa. Wonder. So Hello. it's like. Let's see if we can make the thing on the front work. No. It's not going to, is it? <laughs> well, it's, it's Come on, get, get it unboxed quick. We don't want to be here all day. While she's finding her way into that, I have a new t shirt from QWERTY. Um, I can't actually remember what this one is. I've ordered quite a few recently because they had a big sale on. Um, where they had buy one get one free with free delivery, um, but I don't believe that's what this one is. Oh no, this is this one. Ha 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 ha! Oh, the sweets are in there somewhere. It is. Skinny shoe. Look at that. That's just cool. Where's the sweets? It's sweets, fine. sweets, sweets. I really don't want them. I haven't eaten the whole ones. I've got stomachs. Right, go on, let's see what all so this, this nonsense is. is um, this is from Soap and Glory. It is a rich, it Basically, it boots own brand. <laughs> Basically, it's the value inside is £78, and at the moment they're £30. And I've had one every year for about seven years now. Um, Come on, get it open. I'm trying to. See all this soap. Don't know how soap can be worth £70. Oh, it's, oh, it's a box. It's a box. It's a box. It's not a big bag this year. Right, oh, let's adjust the camera so we can actually see what's going on in here. <laughs> so, we've got some lovely paper. Oh, I like this box. I could use it as, for mm -hmm. keeping treasure in. Yeah. Can I have it? No. Oh. <laughs> so exciting. Hold on. Means so, nothing to me. Got scrub of your life. Very nice. I like this stuff. What is it? It's got like big grains of sugar in it and you rub onto it. I've noticed like when you take stuff out of boxes, you don't show it to the camera. You oh, need to show bad. these people what you're getting. Um, so this has got sugar in. Once rough elbows go suddenly silky. All right, let's have a squirt of this. No, 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 no. <laughs> you can't do it outside. Sure you can't do it outside. So it's lovely. I like that stuff. Uh, ooh, okay. What is it? Amazing for shaving. So it's, it, you can use it for shaving. It's also a lotion for all your bits again that's, all my bits that's last there because you cleanse shave and moisturize yeah so there that, are no parts of me that i shave that is a follow-on to this it's got macadamia nuts in it and what is this this is the righteous butter so same as that that's for your legs when you shave and that's for that you can put that on your skin now that was funny i can have some of this <laughs> yes that one's just uh I have rough elbows. Yeah, you're not you're not rubbing your elbow there you are. No, you are. Oh now the problem is when I go out <laughs> when I go out and do some work in a minute and I turn the computer on and I just put my elbow down on my desk. I'm just gonna I'm gonna come back here with a black eye and just like, <laughs> smash into the desk. I need to have the camera on before so I sit down. Show you a, show you comparison. There you go, there's elbow comparison for you. <laughs> it does work. Oh, we should be a beauty channel. <laughs> We're the new faces of Soap and Glory. So look. It's actually gone. Oh wow. Um, so this is the face soap and cleanse vitamin C. I have just run out of this like today. Literally today. And this is for washing faces. It is for washing faces. So these beads I believe now um, disappear because they used to be made of... Um, Plastic, I think they've said they've changed This is it. technically not a soap. Yeah. Splendid. And then we have some clean on me, and this is for the shower. So it's shower gel. Oh, cool. I like shower gel. You're not using it. Let's see. Oh, that's sharp. Open it. You can't have that one. But you can give it a sniff. No, don't lick it. No, it's not very nice. So this one is a smoothie star this is body milk give me that <laughs> this sounds more like my kind of thing can you use that on your body now can i yes it's body milk oh that's delicious <laughs> can i eat this one <laughs> no no a little i'll do my other elbow and then we'll do a yeah. comparison to see which product is better for elbows oh yeah oh i smell magnificent right you <laughs> judge for yourselves which one's the better elbow? Can you put the ring back on, please? Thank you. That is nice. Is it irresistible almonds, oats, and brown sugar scent? I mean, it. I could just. Is it edible? No. I'd like to have it on toast. Yeah, and then. So this is for when I go out in a few days, hopefully. Is a Radiance Beauty. Radiance Beauty. I can't say it. Radiant. 
Radiance boosting mask. Yeah. Let's put it on the face for 20 minutes and peel off. And then uh, we have some thick and fast mascara. That is definitely not soap. No, this is makeup, but my other one, again this week, went a bit goopy. So I didn't need a new one. And then we have sexy mother pucker. Pardon? <laughs> I dare you to put that on. Hold on, if we can get this. I need to get really close for a thumbnail. Okay. There you go. <sighs> you should put that on. Put what do you mean put it on? What, wear it? Yeah. I suppose it is lip stuff, it is tradition. How do we, how do we, I've got greasy hands from the other stuff. Or is this a paintbrush? Kind of. No, no, because you're gonna... No, don't do that! I've told you before! <laughs> we can't go through this again. I'm going to meet do. Andy out of his taxi wearing this. This tastes like chocolate. No, why we'll be lips together. Why is it chocolatey? Seriously, that tastes like chocolate. <laughs> why is it chocolatey? That's delicious! I'm going to wear that every day, that's mine. Oh, it does, yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's good. Excellent. What else have I got? And the last thing we have is... Do you think I wear lipstick too often on this vlog? Uh, is a Super Cat liquid black liner pen. So it's like a felt tip. Just a little, you can do one line, but not right with it. Are your lips tingling yet? No, I'm looking forward to rubbing crackling through them and then eating chocolatey crackling. And that is my box, um, and then there's a win big, say five pounds. Splendid. We should probably do advent calendars while we're here as well, do them a little bit earlier in the day for once. Um, so while you put all that away, I'll do mine. Um, so we need number 16. Oh, it's nearly Christmas. The days of daily crackling are almost over. And, although I've ripped that door off completely. <laughs> um, the hoggy and the ivy today. Um, and we have salt and vinegar flavour. Yeah. Don't like the salt and vinegar ones. Oh, you should. I'll eat my star mix while you open your calendar. Have you put all this away yet? What's better value then, this box or the um, oh, the, advent the, calendar? I, don't, I can't. I can't possibly say. Really? Because this, I know what I'm getting. With that, I don't. And it's okay. it's a. Uh... Um, we did see in Boots the Zoella advent calendar was half price. <laughs> We were tempted, but then we remembered. It looks a bit rubbish. It's still yeah, overpriced at half price. Yeah, it's twenty-five pound for twelve doors. It's not even a full advent. So it's still more than we paid for this one. This is very little. Very little indeed. It is a wonder eye cream. Oh, I've had this before. Do you remember? Ooh, I need eye cream. Yeah. So no, I bought you eye cream. Yeah, I use it every day. That's why I look so youthful now. Ninety-nine percent natural. You could eat this. You're not going to. Gently tap and smooth our triple action eye cream around the eyes to address dark shadows, firm skin and reduce puffiness. Splendid. Excellent. Now I need to go to work. This one, this one here, one bag of crisps. It's all he ate all day at school. Apparently he didn't want to be eating. I think it's to do with the fact they're messing around the schedule and stuff that they're doing at school at the moment because he's come home with this pile of Christmas presents that he's picked out and wrapped himself for all of us. Oh, no! So we don't know what they are. What's... I'll get them oh, them. Dave. Dave. You can't eat that. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to start behaving or you'll have to come outside. There's a whole sheet come there. So, we'll have a look at this because this is, this is an update on Andy's first full term at school in two years. So, I don't know. Yeah, that's just the standard. So the first bit is just the standard letter mm -hmm. saying it's his EHCP progress report. So let's have a look. So it's quite a long document. Um, I'm not going to read the whole thing out to you, mainly because a lot of it is stuff that we talked about before. But the important thing is I'm just checking there's no secret information on here. It doesn't look like there is. So it's this page. This is the important page which is his update for autumn term 2017-18, which is a term he's just had. So it's got his attendance at 96.83%. Now he had, he only had two days off, 
which I guess does add up to 96% attendance. It's a bit of a shame. Hopefully, next term, we'll be able to get him up to 100% attendance because he's shown no signs of not being there ever since. Um, I don't know what the colours mean on the side of there um, for all the different bits and pieces for attainment, but it's got those targets and on the back there it says what the attainment is so blue means above expected progress green is on track amber is working towards but hasn't achieved yet and red is below expectation so of the targets that we've got he's he had a target which was for andy to feel happy and settled in school he's got an effort of one and a blue so he's achieved that for Andy to complete work with, the, with support at his workstation in the classroom, effort of one and a blue for achieving it. For Andy to interact with peers through either games or group work, he's got an effort of two and then a yellow or an amber, which means he's working towards it but needs additional support. For Andy to wash his hands when he's finished eating, he's got an effort of two and a green, so he's on track towards achieving it, which is good. Um, I didn't even know that one was one of his targets. I mean, I know it's important, but I don't remember us discussing that as a target ever. Um, and then lastly, for Andy to attempt to eat different food in a range of environments, an effort of three and a red, because he isn't really. He tries a few bits here and there, but nothing major. And then the comments. So I'm just going to read this bit to you. Andy has had a fantastic autumn term at school. It's been lovely getting to know and understand him. We are aware that factors such as changes to his medication or a change in taxi driver and routine may influence how he feels towards school. With regard to Andy attempting different foods in a range of environments, this is obviously a very delicate and sensitive area. During food technology lessons, Andy has learnt about different foods, balanced diets and healthy and unhealthy foods and drinks. He's tolerated these lessons and I do feel there's a good understanding of the message being taught. This term, he's taken part in practical cookery lessons, although he may not have been totally pro pro proactive during the lessons. He's worked alongside his peers, and with sensitive support, he's been encouraged to prepare the food. And he has touched and smelt different fruits, and is under absolutely no pressure to try them. During snack time, he will sit with the class. He has had a biscuit, and has also drunk some water when it was offered to him. This is certainly a target that's obviously very important, but also needs to be addressed very carefully, and possibly requires advice and guidance from a dietitian. He already sees a dietitian. You know that school. On the whole, a wonderful term. At bleep this school. Um, well done, Andy. Splendid. Well. That all seems pretty positive. A slight worry that he wasn't eating at school today, but if I spin the camera around, you'll see that he is now eating at home. So clearly the food itself isn't an issue. I suspect it was more to do with the, all the changes that are going on this week and it being assemblies and Christmas projects and things like that. He just felt a little bit off his game. Don't know if you can see as well, it was Christmas jumper day at school today. He's not a jumper wearer. He's like me, I don't wear jumpers, but he has got his new Christmas shirt on that we got in Grantham earlier in the week. Andy, can you show the camera your t-shirt? Stand up. Stand up a minute. So it says, winner winner Christmas dinner t-shirt. <coughs> Even more appropriate because it's the week Player Unknown Battlegrounds came out on the Xbox One. I assume that's why they made the shirt. Well, that day turned out weird. It's five past 11. I've just finished doing the podcast. And I went to bed at about seven o'clock for a nap and then I fell asleep on the sofa watching wrestling. Andy had already taken himself up to bed just before seven o'clock. I woke up in a panic at about 9 p.m., realized I had a podcast to do, went upstairs to see, and Anna was just sparko. Didn't want to wake her up. So I've just been out to do the podcast. No one's down here. I assume they're both still in bed. So now I guess I'll go to bed, but that was weird. If you have enjoyed today's vlog, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for us. Subscribe to the channel for vlogs and stuff. Thank you very much for watching.